Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I talk real fast, don't I? <laughs> Please leave your messages and your comments and your questions below, or your even 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 insults, because I like to learn about new techniques of how to offend people, even people who look perfect or whatever, who think they cannot be offended. But of course, I, I always still I'm always learning. Okay, but I use common sense in everything I do. Okay. And I also do a bit of research because my, my brain is, is so huge with knowledge, okay, which I've been called that many times, okay. I'm being arrogant. Yes, I am, okay. And I'm boasting that I'm a missionary as well, okay. But regardless of my degrees and my knowledge, this video is going to be about Stupidity 101, the Negroid version, okay, the Negro version, okay. I say this because of the fact that you not know, suffer because of the things in my past. Everyone suffers for some little thing in their past. And that's what makes them and molds them into being who they truly are, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know, some people make, you know, when I was a child, I used to get picked on a lot, okay? Until I had to learn certain techniques of uh, magic without fighting anyone, okay? I had to learn the hard way. Not giving up my soul, technically, but finding a way to... Um, entice fear in a psychological way in a passive way there has to be a way i always thought but i did find the way okay but that's why i'm usually quiet in public i don't really say too much but anyhow to the point of what i'm trying to say here is that when i was younger i used to be called uncle tom because all of the not I, I used to have thugs running in the back to the library i probably you remember me or not i don't know okay yeah i used to read their hands because their hands were dirty they was always talking to all of the girls and i didn't get none at the time at that time at that time, my teeth was really pretty messed up until they got fixed now, okay? But, of course, I was pulling females even when my teeth was messed up, okay? But, of course, um, it was a very terrible time in my high school years. I didn't really like high school too much, and I thought it was a waste of fucking time, okay? Every time I come up to a thug or some kind of a guy who basically was in the streets or something like that, you know, they didn't have enough education or interest in me to keep conversation with them. But they will call me Uncle Tom. And sometimes, even on females, okay, you know, females will call me, you sound white. You sound white as hell. Until I, I turn my voice slow. I got to I gotta talk slower for these bitches and hoes. I got to talk slower for these Negroes, okay? So I got to be like, uh, what I mean, I got I to gotta talk in layman's terms, okay? You know what I'm saying? You, you get what I'm saying? You know, you got educated Negroes out there. You know, you, you got to slow it down. You got to slow it down, okay? You know, most of the time, I have, I have more white friends than black friends. Yes, okay? But of course, you know, I get more insults on the dark side. Okay, and that, that's, that seems like, wait a minute. I thought, you know, in the Muslim community, they were supposed to be the superior race. You know what I'm saying? I was there. Okay, I was there in the Muslim race. Moss 22, okay. And I was like, yo, why? 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 Because I, I can't get no woman, okay. I got a woman in the mosque, but I can't find no virgins. Where's the virgins at, okay? And I'm like, you know, they tell, they teaching me all this stuff about Allah and stuff like that. I ain't got nothing to say about their belief system. I ain't got nothing to say about the nation of Islam. You know what I'm saying? You can have your own belief system, okay? So I had to do more research on why I'm being insulted by my own race, okay? And that's another reason. I should make a video on um, why there's no black leaders simply because of pride, okay? And it, it, this basically that pride and egocentricness is probably the way they're raised by mothers, single mothers who didn't have fathers okay so it, it all this stuff is linked all the way back into the past where women feminist movement uh took into place okay you know the feminist movement back in the 1950s and 60s you know actually secretively black women was empowering white women so they can get out of the rut of being in the house okay because they, they're their own independent women so white women was already smart by being in the house but you know that had to be broken okay but that's that's another that's another subject on why we have uh independent women these days okay but i was called you know you're uncle tom you're uncle tom okay and they haven't even seen me i would talk on the phone i'm like yo all interesting shit all the shit i ever read oh you sound like uncle tom like you some kind of scholar or some shit i'm like yo i gotta curse i gotta actually literally curse i gotta the way i'm talking right now to y'all people is the way i'm talking like on a lower level i talk sophisticated i, I have to i have to bring my level of knowledge down so I won't bore the fuck out of nobody, okay? The monotone voice has to got that has to go. Okay? Most people don't listen to the monotone voice. Only a hand few, a 30% of the world's population listen to the monotone voice, okay? That's that's a fucking fact. That's my opinion of it, okay? You know, if you want true education, it's it's under the white man's monotone voice. They already conquered 70% of the fucking world. Okay? So you listening to them will kind of educate you on the history of mankind, but it gets fucking boring when you listen to them. They don't have no pizzazz in their interest, you know, so that's why I talk the way I talk. It's more entertaining, you know what I'm saying? 
But that's what that's what I'm talking about. This that's what I wanted to say about um, um stupidity because I'm like I try to give, you can try to give information on um to Negroes these days and you and when you try to talk to them they don't want to hear you. You know, I'm like, yo, dude, you know, don't 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 fight the funk, man. I did my research and I'm I saying research says blase blase blase. And this motherfucker will be like, no, nah, man, no. Nah. I'm like, motherfucker, you didn't even go to school. You don't even got a degree, okay? What kind of what kind of things are you interested in, nigga? Okay? I gotta talk like that and shit. What the fuck are you, man? And I don't like talking to like talking to my brother like that. You know, I'm like, that's fucking stupid. And they smoking weed and shit. Have the fucking pants hanging out. And I said, that's gonna be karma on your ass. You can't be smoking that shit, man. That shit slows your brain process down. It don't improve you. It makes you in more entertaining because you look like a fucking clown in a certain way. But why don't you put some knowledge on it? Like, like you know, like look at Eddie Griffin or some shit. Look at Eddie Murphy or some shit. I'm pretty sure they will always be funny regardless, okay? Because that's their personality, okay? Look at Cedric the Entertainer, okay? And I want to be funny like them, okay? But other than that, they don't want to listen. But that's all I wanted to say about Negro stupidity. They're everywhere. And if you do find a couple niggas, I'm telling you, that's what you're going to run into. So it's best not to say shit. I don't say shit when there's a whole bunch of niggas around. I, I, one, only thing I need to say is fucking Socrates. They don't even know who the fucking Socrates is. But you don't really need to know who Socrates is, okay? Or, or, or I could say aliens or, or genetics or some shit. Or we are not f- fucking truly humans. And they, they'll, they'll probably be pulled a little bit. Or, or I'll say something. We're, black people are from monkeys. And that's kind of offensive. But that's not, definitely it's not true. But science say they think they found it. But I, I found the true fucking answers, motherfucker, okay? And, and you, you, pull, you, pull them, you pull them in and shit, and then they'll try to listen a little bit, and you try to give them guidance. And if they don't want to listen, you know, that's called stupidity. You know what I'm saying? I never encountered on the internet a whole bunch of Negroes trying to attack me because of something I said. It's, it's usually white folks. And I already made a video on stupidity of Caucasoids because they act stupid as fuck sometimes. I'm like, yo, you don't understand what common sense is? I don't understand it either. I thought they were supposed to be scholars and shit and fucking BAs and shit and psychologists. I'm a fucking psychologist. Okay, I'm, 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 I can entertain you. I can, I can sit you down in my chair. You have a ball with me. That a psychologist is not supposed to be just asking you questions. The psychologist is supposed to give you a cure. The psychiatrist give you the fucking medication, and that's sad. Okay, that's the setup. Okay, <laughs> I talk to both of them. I talk to all of them. Okay, psychiatrist and uh, gon- I talk to gynecologists. Okay, <laughs> talk to psychologists, psychiatrists, gynecologists. You know. <laughs> Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. It's very rare to have an attack, a full attack on some Negroes or Negroettes. Don't copy off my shit. Negroettes are black women, gay. Color, women of color and attitude and pizzazz. Swag, gay. Everybody wants to swag, okay? I can't dance, okay? I think I'm a mixed breed, okay? I can't dance like that, okay? I can't even dribble a fucking basketball. I'm only at 50%. I try to put the ball between my legs and shit, and the ball just it gets a hit on my leg and shit, okay? My, but, but I'm dangling, swinging. I'm dangling, swinging. <laughs> Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light, light and dark. Put your goddamn questions below. And have a nice fucking day. <laughs>